My name is Andrew, and uh, I uh, just live right up the street. I, I started coming to the library about three years ago, three and a half years ago, and I never needed the library, you know, and today I can't live without it. I started coming here, and because it was suggested, you should go to the library, Andrew. So uh, I came to the library here, the Eastside Carnegie branch, and it was the staff here, um, Benny and Oscar, and they were showing me how to use the computer because uh, I, I, I really don't speak Microsoft, you know. And um, so I'm learning to speak Microsoft. And uh, I started going on the computer and I would bring my headphones and, and plug into the computer and just check out for a couple hours. It's, it's, it's my version of prayer and meditation. So I would come in here and spend a couple hours, you know, get, they give me two hours on the computer and, and I, I come into the library and I just relax and I feel safe here and, and it's a new library. Um, the guys here that work in the library and the, and the women here, they're, they're, uh, I've like caught feelings for these people. And uh, so in 2012, I was diagnosed with bulky in the chest 2A Hodgkin's lymphoma, which is cancer, and uh, um, which is pretty devastating to hear that you know you have cancer. And uh, so 2012, I was gone from here for a year. I uh, had to, I did chemotherapy and, and my hair fell out. My eyebrows fell out. Like, I don't know what these are. These aren't the ones I had throughout my life. These are brand new. <laughs> they're not the ones, <laughs> they're not the ones I had, you know, but my, you know, my hair grew back and my eyebrows came in. And um, so I spent 2012, uh, chemotherapy and radiation therapy I had a tumor go on my spine and I I had to uh, I didn't have to I I I got to how about that I got to relearn how to walk again and um, you know I think about it now and this whole time I could have come here you know they've got this place is completely set up for disabled and um, but I was gone for a year and so uh, when I came back, I had my little walker, and I came in the library, and Benny, the librarian here, I walked in and he said, dude, where have you been? What happened to you? Now that doesn't mean anything to anybody but me. There's like I'm, thousands of people that probably came through this library in, in 2012. And to be able to come back here and walk through that door and be missed, you know, was uh, was very heartwarming for me. And um, uh, that's why I love this library. You know, um, I don't have to come to the library today. I don't have to do anything today. I get to. I belong to the get to club. Like I get to come to the library. And uh, you know, I really look forward to coming down here. It's a, it's one of the highlights of my day. Another reason um, I like the accessibility of the library is uh, when I had cancer, um, I had a tumor that went on my spine and um, I was paralyzed from the waist down. And uh, I basically had to, I had to relearn how to walk again. And um, I think part of the accessibility of the library, and this really might not have anything to do with the library, was when I was in my wheelchair, the fear of getting on the bus. And once I, I was at the bus stop in, 
in my wheelchair and the bus showed up and the ramp comes out and you wheel onto the bus and uh, most bus stops are right near the library and I could get off the bus on my wheelchair and come into this library and they have a ramp outside it's completely accessible for disabled you know when I leave the library I it's like I leave the library it's like a spiritual shower <laughs> and when I leave the library I just feel refreshed I feel like <sighs> I can go out into that world and and be okay with who I am and how I do things I get to come to my local library and I, I, I love the library and I love the people that are here they've uh, They've touched my heart and they've, they've touched my life in, in a really positive way. Mm -hmm.